Bella Lugosi answers the door, let's just leave. Mm -hmm. Take your coat, madam. Uh, no, thank you. I think I'll keep it. We may leave in a hurry. Unique. Even though the maid didn't show up. You are my darlings. Oh, Amanda. I was beginning to think that this was going to turn into a search party. Oh. I'm sorry we're late. Yes, we took a few bad turns. Oh. Well, what do you think of it? Unique. I'd give you a grand tour, but Fred likes everyone to experience this place on their own. Oh, how interesting. Fred, uh... Should definitely change his laundry. Too much starch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where, where is Fred? Oh, poor Fred. He was so looking forward to this evening when suddenly he had this wretched presentation for tomorrow. He said he'd be along just as soon as he can. Uh. Sir. Ah, Michael. Oh, champagne. Oh, thank you, Michael. <laughs> the real reason Fred isn't here is he can't crawl out of his coffin until after sundown. I have news for you, darling. The sun's been down a long time. Probably having trouble with the latch. Now, I'd like to introduce you to this charming couple, the Hearts. Jennifer and Jonathan, this is Michael Chillings. How do you do? How do you do? Hello? Michael is a spinner of gothic tales. Oh, please, Amanda. He's written over 60 thrillers. You must have read some of them. Please, Amanda. I haven't read any of them. You haven't read any of my books? I don't think I have, huh? I don't think so. Sorry. Uh, well, I never read any of that junk myself. <laughs> uh, 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 I can't help thinking we've met before. I was thinking the same thing, probably in one of the local haunts. The athletic club, perhaps. Well, actually, I do most of my working out at home. <laughs> He's in excellent shape. Fred must have slammed his lid. Uh, Simon. Madam. Is there anyone upstairs? Not that I know of, madam. Ah, well, it's an old house. Uh, one has to get used to its sounds. <laughs> I guess I'm the culprit. I'm Gladys Leary. I'm the broker who found this house for Fred and Amanda. And this is Reverend Tyson, Jennifer and Jonathan Hart. How do you do, Reverend? Good evening. This place would make a terrific tax loss. Michael, you have no sense of romance. Amanda, you can't send romance to the government. I must admit, Amanda, this place is not my idea of heaven. But what do any of us really know about heaven? More importantly, what do we know about hell? Not much, but I'm sure that somebody will give us a hint soon. See what I mean? Oh, dear. Amanda. Who lived in this house before you bought it? Uh, a man called Greeley. He died in the master bedroom. <sighs> Naturally. Maybe unnaturally. Was there anything unusual about his death? Oh, no, sir. I was with him for 30 years, right up until the end. He died quite peacefully. But I suspect there were certain unresolved circumstances. Such as? 
I don't think it would be discreet to talk about them. <gasps> Did Fred uh, forget to pay the light bill? Lorna, I didn't think you were going to make it. And in a voice kept warning me of danger, but I chose to attend in spite of it. I know what you mean, Doctor. I sensed the same thing when I was here before. Dr. Lorna Phelps, I'd like you to meet the hearts. I think you know everyone else. It was you that I saw in my vision. Danger to you. Well, I wish you would have called me and told me before I came.